Hey everyone, so before I get into this video, I wanted, I hope you guys can hear me by the way, because I'm in the locker room, just randomly thought about this, and I keep forgetting to announce it on my channel, so I wanted to put it out here, but uh, if you listen to the Model Health Show, which I always talk about, that podcast, it's amazing, I think you'll be interested in hearing this, Sean Stevenson and Jade, his co-host and his wife and his whole crew are going to be out here um, January 16th in D.C. at Bustle and Poets on 14th Street, so, oh, 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. So come check them out. I'll put the link to the tickets in my description box to so the event right for you to go pick it up. I'll be there. I hope to see you there. It'll be really great. It's a taping of a live taping of the My Health Show. So you have a chance to be on the show, which is so awesome. You get to meet them in person and they're just, they're all awesome. A lot of love is going to be in that, in that space. So love to see you there. Good morning, people. It is... Wednesday, December 28th right now, and I'm behind on Vlogmas, so I'm just going to continue this this whole Vlogmas vlogs all throughout the rest of the year. So, uh, I went to the gym this morning, and I got there pretty late, so I just ran. I did, um, one of my goals for the new year is to, um, to do, to run five miles a week. So, the way I do that, it's not really five miles, but the way I do that is through HIT training, and I do, I, I calculate them. Um, on the treadmill so as long as I run enough so that like my treadmill miles equal up to five miles that's my goal for at least the first month of the new year because I probably increase it you know because I just find that my body I like it a little bit tighter and I like it when it and uh, running sprinting helps me to be tighter and maintain my muscle mass so and burn fat so it's all good so so far my first meal of the day is this Kia cereal QIA it's um cocoa coconut flavor it's really good um i forget why it's so healthy for you but we got it from the health food store the health food store and it's like these good grains like this and i put some hemp these hemp there we go those are hemp seeds i put hemp seeds in there for some added nutrition hemp I believe is the most viable available source of protein according to Sean and I got some almond milk so I'm gonna have that for breakfast um, some cashew butter we're really taking Darren and I are really starting to take our plant-based diets very very seriously now like we're we're ramping up the vegetables and the fruits and the nuts and the seeds in our house so that's exciting I'll tell you guys more about that later when I can actually talk about her when I'm not in the office so I'm in Target right now on my lunch break because uh, Darren informed me that our wonderful dog Angel peed all over four of our pillows on the bed. So I had to come get new pillows. So I'm getting some new pillows and pillowcases. Yep. Thanks, Angel. Just simple. Got these, and luckily they're like 30% off right now. But look at this. This is the kind of pillow that'd be in the hotels. So nice. And I bet this one is too. That's why it's so expensive. Why is that pillow so expensive? Oh. So on oh my hair. Maybe I'm one of like the last people on earth to, to know about this, but I didn't know that there's like this app with Target and it's called the Cartwheel app and it saved it just saved me like this little app right here. You guys see it? I'll read it later. It just saved me like ten dollars in the store. It makes me so happy. I saw the little signs for the cartwheel for like coupons, but I'm like, oh, it must just be like I thought they were just calling their coupon program cartwheel. I don't know. So yeah, I just saved ten dollars. Feel pretty good about that because I paid in cash, and for some reason, cash just leaves my hands just like that. I have to preserve, preserve it for a little bit longer. Let me go back to work now. So this is what I have for for lunch. This chili. The next thing I got it, it just looked decent, so I got it. I'm trying to incorporate some more plants. I know this isn't like, you know, it's a ready-made meal, but I want to try it. Then, then I got my roasted broccoli. Got a lemon and some basil in here for my water. Got a cucumber, apple, and a bunch of peppers. And I got a protein shake. And I got this. Uh, Cashew butter. That's all I prepped today. I Super simple. I, I 
show an update on this um, stuff. It's pretty tasty. It's a little bit sweet for some reason. I guess it's the, maybe it's not that sweet. I don't know. It's pretty good. And um, I'm about to put a little bit of salt and pepper in it, but that's about it. And I've been eating my roasted broccoli like cold because I was waiting in the microwave. I was waiting for the food to be done in the microwave for like four minutes, five minutes. So I ate most of the broccoli cold, but it's so good. Um, oh yeah, so basically like me and Darren are really going like taking our plant-based diet seriously and we are definitely cutting down our meat consumption um not like we're not gonna cut it out we're just cutting it down and because like for a while like for this past two three months i've been like really slacking on the vegetable consumption and i've really just been kind of just eating like just making like like meal prepping like meat and rice and then having like you know vegetables but not enough so we're taking it more seriously now and i got him on board so well he's he brought himself on board so that's pretty good and that's really what it's all about when you're trying to get your spouse or your significant other, whoever, someone that you love, into like health and into the healthier lifestyle. You really just need them to discover it for themselves and to really want to be healthy, healthier for themselves. It's You can't force it on them. You kind of got to help them discover it. You can guide them, but you know how the saying goes, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. So just be mindful of that. Um, try to just talk to them very non in a non-judgmental way because a lot of times it can come off as if you're judging them and they think you're, you're not but they think that you are so um it doesn't really work out and it can put a strain in your relationship so i just encourage you all if you're interested and in, you're trying to get your your boo into um doing this health thing you know just give them time let them discover it in their own time um i've been with darren for five years now and this is the first he's ever expressed first time they were expressed about like going plant-based you know so wow. take him time I tell her make me some money she tell me make me a wife I tell her people praise fuck wrong with you and excuse my French but I'm a long kisser and then she tried to tell me but she said what about the nipples you're right what you doing tonight put on something tight don't judge me in life she love me like a brother but fuck me like a husband too hot to put my tongue and all I had to do was rub it the genie at the bottom so wet I'm a need goblin she tell me that it's mine I tell her stop lying lying in who else she Okay, I forgot the whole song, but um, so I'm about to head home and it's actually still light out, which is so exciting. Urgh, I can't wait till daylight savings time is over because you know, I just don't like when it gets dark super, super early when it's dark for so long of the day, but you know. Such as life, first world problems, not a big deal. So I got a lot of things accomplished today as far as the wedding. So I'm very excited about that because I wasn't even expecting to get all these things done. But like, okay, so with with our wedding, there's not a lot of things to plan like out individually because we're having a destination wedding and everything is all included. So we pretty much just like click, 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 tell them what we want and that's it. I've been going back and forth with the wedding coordinator who talks to the vendors about that, but she talks to the vendors for me, so I don't have to talk to the vendors. Like, all that stress is, like, off of me. So, um, I like, it's easy for me not to think about the wedding, if that makes sense. Like, it's easy for me to kind of, like, like, people ask me all the time, like, oh, how is wedding planning coming? And I'm like, it's good. It's, it's fine. I'm not planning anything right now. So, um that's pretty good so at least this time has given me the opportunity to focus on gifts and I love buying gifts so I just actually I got a few things that I actually needed for one one thing for my dress one thing for my other dress um, for February because um, you guys know we're getting married officially February 4th but we're getting um, we're doing the whole ceremony in Mexico April 22nd so people always get confused but February we'll officially be married and then April 22nd we'll be going out to Mexico and doing the whole damn thing so I got I got some things for my dress I, I got I finished all my bridesmaids um, all my bridesmaids what is it called uh, gifts and I'm so excited for them because they're actually really nice gifts and I just really like one of my goals with this wedding was to just make sure the people who are coming feel really really special and especially the people who are in the wedding because i mean it's not cheap and they're coming all the way to mexico they said yes to being a bridesmaid and you know and the groomsmen on darren's side but they said yes and they didn't have to say yes at all and i would have understood because it's expensive but um 
I'm just I'm just thankful. I want to show them that I'm thankful for them. So I got their gifts done. They're out the way. I had promo codes, which made everything so much better. I saved so much money, and I I got some really really good sales. I caught some really really good sales. So all their jewelry's done. I had these little cute other things, and I'm getting them. And I'm not gonna say what it is because some of them might be watching. I want it want to all be a surprise, and I'll give that to them down in Mexico. Um. Yeah, so I'm excited for that. I got something that I needed for my dress, which I'm really excited for. And I found it at a mean discount, so I'm very excited for that. So, just an FYI, anybody, if you're looking for a particular item from a particular store, put it into Google first, because that is how I found other stores that carried the same item, and I didn't even think it was they were gonna carry it, because they're kinda like specialty items, so you would think like only one website would have those items, but no, they don't. So I typed into Google and found discounts and cheaper. <sighs> I just, uh, you know, I love to get things that are not cheap for cheap, so it makes me very happy. And I'm just happy, so. <laughs> I'm going home now. I have a um, my, my part time job is having their holiday party tonight, and I think it'll be fun and a lot of good food and stuff. But I don't feel like going, I really don't feel like going. Darren's at work, and I just want to go home, kick off my shoes, edit a video, watch The Flash all night until I fall asleep, and that's it. And make some popcorn. I've been making some air pop popcorn. Oh, I'll show you. I already showed you guys how I make air pop popcorn. Okay, never mind. I won't show you again. Uh, I'm about to drive home, so hopefully I won't catch any traffic because I'm leaving work a little bit early. And yeah, just a little update for y'all. Oh, and okay, so I know I said that I was going to do a wedding update, but I haven't done a wedding update because this channel isn't really about weddings. So I didn't really want to just post a video all about wedding updates. But if y'all want to see a wedding update video, if you're planning your own wedding or whatever, let me know because I've learned a lot so far, especially about destination wedding planning and maybe make a video I might make a video just like a short video but y'all know when I say short it ends up being super super long so I might make a short one I'll try to keep it short just so um you know people could be informed about this whole process <laughs> <laughs>